I start my day around 5.30 in the morning. On this particular day, my coffee filter decided to rip open as I was trying to throw it away. So coffee grounds got all over the floor bright and early in the morning. So of course, I had to go get everything I needed to clean that mess up, which completely took away at least 10 minutes of my morning. coffee grounds got all inside of my sock and then my vacuum died so that was perfect luckily I was able to get most of the coffee grounds before the vacuum died Cash has entered into this weird sleep regression where he comes into our bed at like 1 or 3 in the morning almost every single night and ends up sleeping in between us. It's been a bit of a struggle but we're working through it. I decided to wear something super cozy today since it was really cold outside. Every morning I try to give my dogs as much love as I can because they basically spend all day completely alone. which. They're little, they don't require too much activity, and they're also old, so it works out okay. Part of my morning routine is, of course, making my morning coffee, which I'm sure everybody does. And then I need to prepare all of the lunches and pack Cash's backpack, as well as my gym bag, before we leave for the day. Then eventually when Cash wanders out, I get his breakfast prepared, which is usually some sort of chocolate protein shake and a waffle. And one of my tricks is I cover the waffle in whipped cream and then he really, really wants to eat it. Breakfast is such a huge struggle for him. I don't know why, but he just doesn't like eating breakfast. Once I get to school, it's time to get to work. Cash has been coming into the classroom with me every morning, which has been fine. He's really learned how to let me get my work done, and he plays with the rat, he plays with the kids in the next door classroom, while I get my morning duties done. This usually entails checking the daily agenda, making sure that everything is set to go, and my daily slides are ready, and all links, and Google websites are up and ready to go for me to use. My teeth teacher came in this morning just to chat with me about something real quick, and then it was time to cake, take cash down to preschool. Mm. That's a good reason there, Jazz. Okay. Jackson, are you waffles or pancakes? Pancakes? Okay, why? Uh huh. Mm, it sticks inside the little holes, okay. So the pancake might be more absorbent, but the waffle will keep the syrup on top. Maybe not absorb it as much. Yeah, but it's not really make it into the other waffles. True. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's true. It won't make it down into the other waffles if you stack them. You guys all talk? <laughs> all right. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Thank you, those of you that are showing me you're done. All right. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Much better. Thank you. All right. I want to just see real quick who is Team Pancakes. Okay. And hands down. Who is Team Waffles? Ooh, Kai, you shot that thing up like a firework. Kai, why on earth are you Team Waffles? Explain. Jackson, would you mind sharing with everyone your reasoning for the waffle? That syrup really settles into those holes and doesn't get absorbed by the pancake, so you get a little more syrup in every bite, okay? Very interesting topic. That one was uh, brought to you by Miss Groff. Very controversial. That one was really nice. Ooh. Strawberries. All right. For 90 seconds of SEL this morning. If you're on TikTok, I use the Miss R Project's SEL slides every day with my students and they absolutely love them. They're definitely more positive each day um, every time we use them. And then, of course, I chose the rowdiest of boys in my class to help me model how sound waves travel through air um, from the sound source to some other object. In that case, it was a windshield. This was a mystery science lesson. And then Jessica, my student teacher, and I got to eat lunch together. This is a really nice time. We get to kind of decompress, talk about how the lesson goes. She's been doing a lot of observing me the first two blocks of the day, and then she's been taking over the third block of the day, at least two days a week. Um, and you can see another sound wave model here, and I knew that the boys I picked would do a good job. Then I get to sit back and watch Jessica teach block three, which is really fun for me to do. Um, and then, of course, I get to kind of peek around and help the kiddos with their conversations and I'm listen in on what they're talking about and what they're observing and things like that. So I absolutely love this part of my day. block three we have some sort of intervention um, period uh, before dismissal after that I typically go to the gym for about an hour and on this particular day I ended up going to Trader Joe's for our quick little grocery haul uh, for the week I didn't get too too much but um, enough to last us for a couple days then we made dinner together and we hung out as a family. Typically we'll play like a board game with cash or we'll just kind of hang out in the kitchen. Our house is a wreck, please don't judge me. I'm a working mom. <laughs> um, and then of course I get things ready for the next day. Scott and I are a pretty good team. He gets cash ready for bed. I make the lunches and clean the kitchen. And then I'll go in for the last bit of um, the night before cash falls asleep. And this usually ends around 7.30 in the evening. So that is a day in my busy teacher mom life. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.